The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Delivering transit activated corridors has been our project for the last 18 months, building on the work we've done on trackless trams across Australia now with a much closer focus on Perth because this is where we are delivering the first one and there's a lot happening. So we've got a lot of interviews with people involved in this process and we've got a toolbox that's been developed by Cheryl Desher from Griffith University and that toolbox is something any practitioner or professional in this area can use to help in the process. But let me just quickly go through what the other films are about and how they put a package together of this multiple headed beast, which is about delivering a new transit system, which is mid-tier going across the corridors and bringing life to new stations and precincts around them that are essentially what we're trying to do, make them really good urban legacies that are net zero and full of wonderful technology and opportunities for services, affordable housing, all of the good things we're trying to do that will build up these corridors to be transit activated, what we're calling them actually is 21st century boulevards and it's essentially covering that idea that it goes back in history and is now coming into fruition with a new direction. And then Mike Moritz is taking us along the journey of where the trackless tram would go. This is followed by a video of Dave and Anna who are working in the city of Vincent to bring to life the grassroots processes that enable you to partner with the local community and create a place, something that comes alive. Marie follows this idea by showing what happened in Stirling, where they had an alliance set up who helped to build a vision. And she talks to the mayor about how that is now opening up with a partnership approach. And then the fourth film is with the mayor of Stirling, which is the part that is probably going to be first with this new trackless tram. They've got a business case that they're working on now, and he's very enthusiastic about what it's going to do for his city. Then we move into some more overseas perspectives, starting with the overseas city of Melbourne, our chair in this project, Rob Adams, formerly the urban designer for the city of Melbourne. And in that role, he was able to create a rejuvenated series of boulevards that he's now walking down and showing us how they have succeeded. Secondly, Jan Schurer, who's in Barcelona, helped to see what they are doing in these new corridors that are outside the main parts of their cities. And that's a real insight into the future that could be coming from Europe as a, a model. And finally, in that series, Sebastian Davies Slate is talking about American cities, how they're also moving down this track towards a 21st century boulevard. It's particularly an opportunity for bringing in private sector funding, which is a partnership part of this project. Then we have some PhDs of mine, other than Sebastian, that are able to give us insight into other aspects. Firstly, with Gemma Green, who has started a business called Power Ledger, which is doing very well because they have shown how to do microgrids around new developments that can create the opportunity for a net zero precinct. So this opportunity of managing it locally is what Gemma talks about. It's very smart technology, but it's also very smart governance. 
Then we've got Rohit Sharma, who finished his PhD on this project and how the value capture can be part of the process of creating and delivering a trackless tram corridor, bringing in the land development opportunities into the assessment process. And finally, in that series, James McIntosh is showing us how he has been working in Sydney on these kind of problems and how it does make a difference to involve land development in the opportunity of an assessment that is very favourable. The next project of creating a net zero city is unfolding as we bring in this new opportunity of an electric transit system running down a main road and bringing to life station precincts that can move out into the surrounding suburbs as a way of bringing a completely carbon free future. This is the next agenda and it is one we build on with these films.